Good morning. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, we're back at it early in the morning. The sun just came up. Let's see what we can find. We'll probably have it until around 11, 12 uh, before it hits 90 degrees, and then we're probably just gonna restock and supplies and stuff like that, and just see what we can do. But other than that, uh, high hopes this morning. So we're gonna get at it. So see you when we see something. Well. Well, well, we can't have a morning without a, uh, Got a mail. Gulf Coast box turtle. <laughs> That's an old male. Can't go wrong with a golf. Out and about. Kind of knew it was, might be one of the first things you see this morning. Small one though for a uh, old male. Yeah. He has some chip. He has some uh, carapace damage. Really cool. Anyway, we should get going because his car's coming. Rusty. First snake of the night and uh, morning. <laughs> Eastern Guard snake. More rusty variant. This guy was just right on the road. <laughs> Glad I stopped in time because he was just heading back. But all right. Classic brown. I mean, he was going this way, so. Was he going that way? Yeah. You know, he turned yeah, around. Right. He turned around. Oh. Strongly mm -hmm. striped as that other individual from yesterday. But second damn the fist today. All right, let's let him go. He's going coiled up right there. Yeah. It's a big corn. Dear Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> Dude, that's a big freaking corn. That is a huge corn. What do you think? That's a five footer? No. Four and a half? I say four and a half. Oh, look how. Uh, this is a. This is like your rusty tan backgroundish this isn't like your red this isn't like your red oh a little feisty ah, i'm gonna grab the phone for you dude you're freaking huge man you're oh, you get some damage oh no oh, okay all right y'all puffed up huh you think you're tough huh you're gorgeous though Holy crap almighty, you're gorgeous. Hey, Bale, just stay right there. Just stay right there. I'm just doing it for size, okay? Jesus. Jesus. That is a big horn. <clears throat> Horse fly. All right. All right, uh, you're going this way, dude. Now let's get you off the road. Nice. All right, let's keep going. One. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Second Gulf Coast box turtle. Uh, who, who, who did your polishing job, huh? <laughs> uh, where'd you get your turtle wax, dude? That's that's a really that's a kick ass Gulf Coast. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> are more oakier oh wow that is even oakier that's a pretty one that yeah <laughs> that's that's a far oakier one are you really going to take another picture yeah i'm going to get a couple shots well hurry up with your photos because we can't pass up on this cloud coverage Thing it's freaking oaky. Why would you smell it? <laughs> you nasty. But you're nasty. Nasty. Look at you. You smell musk for 
for uh, for uh, pleasure. Look at that, another boxy. Another Gulf Coast Boxster. That's three so far in this trip. A little small one too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna put this guy off the road. Is that a male or female? It's a female. Female. Here you go. All right, let's keep at it. Got a brown chin. Got a brown chin racer. <laughs> On his busy highway. He nipped me a couple of times. Yeah, he nipped me too. It's, anyway. 80, it's 87 degrees and this dude just crossing the cement. Did not care at all. All right. It's, uh, it's quite beady. We went the, the coast to... Um, Look for dying back, smell good luck. But I want to show you a plant that's really important uh, while looking for uh, AKs. This is probably what? Brent, Daniel, you say these are one of the oldest trees in Florida? At least? At least one of the oldest trees, yeah. Yeah, one of the oldest trees in Florida. I'll show you in a second. Here it is. These are called dwarf cypress trees. One of, the, one of the, the parts in the environment you want to look for while looking for AKs. There's other plants. Also, you want to look for canals like this, but this is all dry up, so this is a really bad example, but really cool environment. Also, also some of my favorite plants is pitcher plants over here. Like this one over here near the vehicle. There's, an, there's a, plenty of clusters over here, too. Look, look at that gigantic one. Jesus. Yeah, we're looking at plants while it's dead. Don't ask me why, but we are. But there's there's a link spider right on that one. This one. Cool, fantastic. Anyway, we're gonna continue looking around, surveying this area, but we're not we're not very uh gonna come back on this road. It's very bumpy, really bad, but I think Daniel's going to do some picture plant photos, but anyway, I'll catch you guys later. What are you doing on a dip like this? We almost hit you. Check out the bands on his tail. Oh, jeez, you're going to turn around on me like that? That is a crazy pattern. Or are you shedding? I think it's shedding. Yeah, that looks like a shed. You're pretty, dude. Alright. He's off the road. Literally, what, what, like two minutes? Two minutes. And another cotton mouth. Another cotton mouth. Alright. Uh, guess what? Just guess. Just guess what it is. It's a cotton mouth. You know, the funny part is that Daniel bet me in dusk hours that we were running to six pygmy rattlesnakes. This is I third. should have made a bet that we would see six cotton mouths before we see six pygmies. Yeah. I'll be winning. All right, dude. Let's get you off the road. And there he goes. Well, he's not. He's just standing there with his mouth open. Oh, look, Daniel. You finally got one. I didn't get one. I called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have So you what? Is it three cut mouths to one me so far? Yeah. You got to work on your ratio, son. Let's get you off the road, dude. It's time whiny. Can you growl with that? Okay. Gotta do it very gently. Dark one. Cool. And, and of course, cottonmouths are back after a short, short intermission, and I think you don't need to use it. He's already off. He's off road. All right. Cool. 
flat. Ooh, he's a dark guy. This thing is dark. He has a lot of beads on him. You can hear him while you. Yeah. I I thought he was a burnt branch. <laughs> That's what I thought too, but. It was just the way he was just like, good God, look at the straddle on that thing. All right. <laughs> look at the size of that guy. All right, Dan's catching up, four and three. We're four and three. Four cottons and that's a big, big That's one. a gigantic one. That's, that's, that's a big one. Look at it. Let's see the rattle on that one without getting too close. Oh, nice, nice string of rattles. Oh, he doesn't look too keen. We're gonna get him off the road. Keep me going. Really, really, really cool color on this one. What is it? It's a really cool color on this one. Yeah. All right, let's continue going on. I see you're uh, chilling. All right, looks like it's now tied between pig versus Cut cotton up. mouth. Four and four. Does Pigmy get a, a uh, great comeback back after zero three, or or will uh, cotton mouths uh, hold off, or will they choke? Well. With B and Herpetology Productions, every herp counts. Yeah. And really? guess what? Cottonmouths come back for the fight. Who would get to number six first? Who's gonna get to number six? Who's gonna get to number six first? Six is the winning point. <laughs> six is gonna be the winning point. Maybe we should increase the wage. Right, so wage on what? I oh, don't mind. He's missing a thing, is he? Oh, no, he's not. All right. Yeah. All right. Wait. Was that there? That's actually a stick. Oh, okay. Yeah. And guess who won? Guess who won? Cottonmouth wins. Oh my god. That's a biggie. Ooh. Bailey, that's a big chunky. So tell everyone that what you have to do when we get back to camp. I got to chug a beer once we uh, settle down for the night. Yep. So, that's a big chunky one. Well, Cottonmouth wins. Six to four. Six to four. All right. I guess we can just... Come on, dude. It's... Ooh. Oh, he's kind of off the road. He's off. He's not going to get run over. All right. But still, that's a big one. Oh, I should. I forgot to mention. All those pygmies and cottonmouths happen in one hour. Just one hour. That's how crazy their, uh, their movement is right now. But anyway, I'll catch you later. I have a good feeling a pantherophis is going to be our next thing. Uh, hey, did didn't red? Didn't uh, didn't you guys know that you guys lost? You don't need to be so losers, okay? You lost. All right. It's too late. <laughs> Dude, look how rusty this one looks. Yeah, it's a little red. Yeah. He's got some brown, nice little brown textures, but he's well off the road. We're not going to bother him. Yeah. So. And this road's not busy at all anyway. Okay. Dude. You're being, guys, you're being show off now. This is getting ridiculous. I kind of, I kind of want something new. Uh, we're going to get there. These guys are really common. Let's get this guy off the road since we've had a car pass by, so... You think that's the same one earlier? I don't think so. 
Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what to say. A lot of pygmies. Really pretty. That one's really pretty. Look at the tail area. Shit, looking too. Anyway, we're going to put this guy off the road and get at it. No. It's a box turtle. Ghost like Coast. Another, another female, maybe? Yeah, no, it's... Yep, it's female. Told you. All right, let's go ahead. Put her across the road. Well, that's something new. We're refreshing from all those cotton yeah. and pigs. Refresh. All right, let's continue. Number seven. No. So we're seven to seven now. Something like that. Pretty good. You're pretty, dude. No, 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 no. Come this way. There you go. Um, some mud. Number eight. <laughs> I think that uh, picture. Uh, you said what? Yeah, but uh, sorry, but the game is already over. Yeah. Understandable. Now we're just gonna see if it beats our record, which was near our where accounting near where we live. We found twelve in one day, so and we're at eight. Well, we got an Eastern. Daniel actually broke his tail. He's a big, big, too. big male. Well, you weren't even grabbing his tail. He did it just gonna yeah, fling it off. I didn't even mean to. I'd Picked him up and he just dropped his tail. This is a big freaking male too. God, actually, I would like to do a locality photo on this guy. Mm -hmm. That he, that's that's freaking pretty. Dang. <sighs> well, hello. Well, we're gonna take him off the road and and go to another spot. But anyway, catch you when we get to the other spot and we find something else. We got another scarlet. A very aberrant. Well, I wouldn't say very aberrant, but look at this little side blotching right here. Yeah, it's nice. That is a nice looking scarlet. You want to let it go over there or? Yeah, we might as well. Yep. Second, like scarlet. <laughs> wow, uh, pain is still warm. Cool. Bye, scarlet. <laughs>